You've written an entire novel that you've put your blood, sweat, and soul into. And now you are about to put it in the hands of beta readers. If this is your first time sending your novel off to beta readers, you have lots of questions. How do you find them? What do they do? And what even is a beta reader? Well, I'm going to answer these questions in five minutes so you can get back to those beta readers. So first, let's establish who a beta reader is. A beta reader is someone who's going to read through your novel after you've drafted it at least once, if not two or three times, and before an editor gets to it. So a beta reader is not an editor. They are not there to point out mistakes in grammar or spelling or to catch typos. Now they can catch these kinds of mistakes, but their real job is just to look over the story from a different perspective. Because up until now, most likely you are the only one who has read over your story. And so you need a couple of different perspectives to be able to see what's working and what isn't. So now that you know who a beta reader is, how do you find them? So it's actually probably more simple than you think. There are probably beta readers around you that you haven't even realized. So if you already have something like a blog or a YouTube channel, you can use those people who are already interested in you and your story and what you do, and you can use them for beta readers. If you don't have a platform like a blog or a YouTube channel, don't sweat it. There are other ways to find beta readers. If you are part of a writing community, and that doesn't have to be live and in person, although it can be, you can join writing communities online. You can go to Facebook. There are writing communities there. And there are people there that will trade off stories or chapters and kind of do a thing, you know, like where if you read my story, I'll read your story. You can also use your friends as beta readers. Now, while they do not have to be writers and you know fellow authors like yourself, they do have to be readers. So you don't want to just pick anyone to be your beta reader because if you pick someone who doesn't enjoy reading or even doesn't enjoy reading your genre, they probably won't have a lot of insight to give because they don't have a lot of experience to pull, you know, to pull on. So what exactly is it that beta readers do? Like I said earlier, they are not the editor. They are not there to catch mistakes in punctuation or typos. So what exactly do they do? One of the things that beta readers can be really good at is pointing out inconsistencies in your novel. So say in one chapter, you had all of your characters take a seat at a table. And then in the following chapter, you had them take a seat at that same table when they, they haven't left it, which has happened to me in my novel. So beta readers are there to make sure that your characters aren't changing hair color in the middle of the novel or eye color, or that a character that you killed off somewhere in the beginning isn't suddenly resurrected and walking around by the end of the novel. Because believe me, these things will happen and beta readers are going to notice them and point them out to you. Another thing they will point out is what scenes aren't working. So they're going to make sure that your novel does not get published with a bunch of rambling, boring scenes in them where characters are just talking and talking and talking or where nothing's really happening to move the story along. It can be easy as the author to get attached to certain scenes and kind of think that you need them there when you really don't. It can also be difficult to tell what's boring and what is just you as an author having read it over and over and over again until you may feel bored with it. But an actual reader, someone who's reading it for the first time, they're not going to be bored or vice versa, where you think a scene is just really, really great for some reason or another, but it really puts readers to sleep. So beta readers are going to be able to tell you what's working in a scene and what isn't. A third thing that beta readers will do really well is to tell you what has not been explained very well in the novel. So you as the author know your characters so well, you know this world very well, you've spent so much time world building and creating these characters, that sometimes it can be easy to kind of take things for granted that may seem obscure to readers. You know that Tom and Sarah are really good friends, but somehow you didn't put that information very clearly into the chapters and scenes that you wrote. But beta readers will let you know that in chapter 15, 
when all the characters get together to go raid some zombies that Tom, when Tom suddenly is so concerned about Sarah and more concerned about Sarah than anyone else in the group, that this feels unnatural and does not seem like something Tom would do. And this is a flag to let you know that while Tom and Sarah are really great friends in your head and in your character sheets and in your outline, somehow this fact never really made it into the novel itself. So as you can see, beta readers are super important. As the author, you are a little bit too close to your own work to be able to pull back and see how first time readers are going to view your novel. And so beta readers give you a valuable insight into what readers are going to be seeing and how they're going to be responding before you actually publish it and it's too late to make those edits. Since beta reading is so important, you don't want to waste this experience by handling it the wrong way. And lucky for you, I will be talking about that on Fox 5. So come back Saturday morning to find out the best way to get the feedback that you're looking for from beta readers so you aren't wasting their time or yours. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm running a special on my Patreon page. The first 20 patrons to sign up will get your name mentioned in my book under the thank you section. And this is regardless of what tier you select. So normally this is something I only offer to the highest tier, the people who sign up for the highest amount per month. But if you are one of those first 20 people, you can get your name in my book for as little as a dollar a month. So hurry on over to my Patreon page. I will put the link in the description and get your name in my book. Thank you so much and I will see you on Saturday on Fox 5 Extra.